Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In case this is your first time here, my name is Taz Shiko and you're so very much welcome. Please subscribe because we are about to transform this beautiful face into something more beautiful. I'm going to start off by using this illegal color correcting primer and this is what we have after I've blended everything in. Next, I'm going to be using this Fit Me by Maybelline Finishing Powder and I love using powder before for foundation especially because i have an extremely oily face it helps my makeup last longer and uh, this is what we have after the powder and for foundation today i'm going to be using this zaron foundation this is in the shade fz45 i love zaron foundation because it has a full coverage it's full coverage and you can actually see that it has been able to hide all those dark spots that i have and look at how this is looking like the finish is so beautiful and i'm not even done yet so i'm just going to apply and blend and always ensure that if you're going to be using a beauty sponge to blend in your foundation always ensure that it's damn fast so squeeze out all the water and then apply your foundation to get a flawless finish. If you want a flawless finish, always ensure that your beauty sponge is dumb. So let's blend this foundation. Blend, 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 blend. And when blending, don't drag your beauty sponge. Always tap, tap, tap in. And this is what we have after the application. So next, I'm going to be highlighting. And I'm using a legal concealer. This is in the shade Fawn. And this is what we have so far. So after applying that concealer, always give it time to better the coverage. But don't give it too much time because it will dry up. So just give it enough time but not too much time for it to dry up. And this is what we have so far. I've actually reverse contoured. And after that, I'm going to blend. So I've already given it some time. So it's now time to blend, 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 blend. And I'm still using that uh, beauty sponge that I was using to apply my foundation. So blend, blend, blend everything. And this is what we have after blending in that concealer. So next to highlight, to set the highlighted areas, I'm going to be using this finishing powder. This is by Elegal. So everywhere that I applied that concealer to highlight, I'm going to set with a powder. And make it stay in place so just set everywhere that I used concealer I'm going to set using this finishing powder by illegal and to set you just use a lighter to highlight you use a lighter concealer to set you also use a lighter powder either a loose powder or a compact powder to set then next, I'm going to use this Espresso and I'm going to be using it to contour. And 
and then i'm going to be using this lighter shade of fit me finishing powder and this just to make certain areas lighter and this is what i have so far so next i'm going to contour still using that espresso and i love starting from my brows all the way to the tip of my nose And for my eyebrows today, I'm going to be using Davies Eyebrow Pencil in the number 003. And I start lining the bottom part and then the top part. So this is what I have. I just follow the exact shape of my eyebrows to get these. So the next brow, I'm still going to do the same thing. Start lining the bottom part. And then I'm going to line the top part and I give it some space, just a little space from where I started with the lower line. And then after that, I fill in. And then I'm going to be using this Maybelline gel, brow gel, on the front part. This is to give me hair like structures. So brush my brows looking upwards and this is what I have so far. Next, I'm going to be cleaning up my eyebrows and I'm going to be using a Legal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And the brush I'm using to clean up is a flat brush. And then when you're going to be cleaning up, you just do it slightly below where you do those brows. Just slightly below that. You just don't go directly in where you just drew the eyebrows, where the eyebrows are. No, just slightly below where you drew those eyebrows. And then after that, blend in that concealer before it dries up and gives you a hard time with blending. Because concealers at times dry up very, very fast. So clean it up before it dries up. And I'm using a fluffy brush. And then for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this palette. This is Zulu by Juvia's eyeshadow palette. I'm starting off with this yellow shade. And with my technique, I love starting from the top going to the bottom. So the yellow is the latest shade of the eyeshadow colors that I'm going to be using. So it's the one that's going to be on top. And then orange is next. And slightly below the yellow, that's where I'm going to apply the orange shade. And I apply as I blend, apply as I blend. And I'm just using the same brush because uh, it's easier to actually blend using the same brush. So blend, 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 apply as I blend, apply as I blend, apply as I blend. And then I'm going to be applying this purple shade. This is teal from the Juvia's eyeshadow palette. The Zulu by Juvia's eyeshadow palette. So this is the last shade that I'm going to apply. So I want it to be a little bit more pigmented. So I want it to be a little bit more visible. So uh, I'm just applying still as I blend apply as a blend until i'm satisfied with how it's looking and next use elf eyeliner and i'm sorry the the mirror kept coming on my way so i couldn't show you much about the eyeliner so next i'm just going to apply these eyebrow pencil this is a lip liner or an eyebrow, eyebrow pencil sorry and i'm going to line my lips using it for the look that I want. So next I'm going to be applying this sleek. 
lipstick this is in the shade that's so fetch and it didn't come out the way i wanted so i applied this maybelline lipstick which is a bit more pigmented compared to the sleek one and then apply and then after that i can go on top with the sleek lipstick to give me the outcome that i wanted so i just apply it and then i added on top maybelline lipstick a pink maybelline lipstick to give me the exact the exact look that i wanted and then clean up using a concealer and i love listening to music when i'm doing my makeup to hype me up and this was one of those moments <laughs> so and then next i'm going to spray some setting spray onto my sponge i either spray it directly or i spray it on my beauty sponge so today i decided to just spray it on my beauty sponge it gives you a beautiful finish but i don't apply too much because if you do you might end up uh, messing up you might be taking off your makeup so you just have to be careful and then add a little bit more contour and this is what i have so far beautiful then using this brush i'm going to pick up this shade this is a brown shade from the zulu by juvia's eyeshadow palette that i was using on my face this is to bring some warmth and use it as a bronzer so this is what i have so far next i'm going to highlight and i'm using elf highlighter And also take a little bit of that highlight on the bridge of my nose. And this is what we have. So beautiful. So next, I'm just going to fix this hair extension. And this is the final look. Uh, I love it. Don't you? I hope this video has been really helpful. Don't leave without subscribing. Don't leave without turning on that notification bell. And also don't forget to like this video so that it will be recommended to as many people as possible. Yes. Uh, so yeah, this is it. Uh, bye guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time. Bye. See you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you for watching.